Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a great holiday season. Seems like it's been forever since I've done a video on an oil, but we are back to it. Hey, Nathan, thank you for joining me. We are here to talk about spikenard oil today. Now, this has a very different aroma. It's very pleasant. I like it, but it's hard to describe. It doesn't smell flowery at all. We have recently been using this in the diffuser quite a bit because John's latest iTobi scan called for spikenard. So we've been using it at night in the bedroom and it is really, really lovely. I will um, tag that diffuser blend to this video so that you can see the blend we've been using. Hey, Michelle, thank you for joining me. So you may have heard the phrase, when in doubt, get your frankincense out. That applies to spikenard too. And I'll tell you about that and why that's the case in just a little bit. But a little bit about spikenard. The oil is steam distilled from the roots of the plant, Nardostachys jatamansi, and I have no idea if I pronounced that right or not. <laughs> but it grows high in the Himalayan mountains of Nepal, and I'm going to be sharing a sourcing video from doTERRA so you can see how we get this oil. It's pretty cool. When you buy this, you're not only benefiting yourself, but you're benefiting families in Nepal. So that's pretty cool. So it retails for $66 and wholesales with your membership for $49.50. So that's a $16 savings. Pretty good deal with your membership. Now, why this oil is so special? I just learned this today. I didn't realize it. It has around 170 different chemical constituents in it. And it has, um, that makes it hugely diverse. Almost every single essential oil component category is present in that oil. So we're talking ketones, esters, alcohols, monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, oxides, it's in there. And about close to a hundred of its chemical constituents are present at less than one percent of the whole. That makes it extremely diverse, and that suggests that it is beneficial for a wide variety of needs because it is so diverse. So this essential oil is not like any other essential oil that doTERRA has because of that chemical complexity. So let's talk about how to use it. This one, if you'll notice, it goes straight to a, a list. It does not have a supplement fact box. That means it's not for internal use. However, it is used for aromatically and it is used for topically. So primary uses include topically for aging skin, um, diffusing for insomnia, nervousness, making your own perfume, and rashes, but that is not the limit. Its properties include it is antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, it's an antioxidant for cardiac cells and nerve cells. That's pretty important. It's used as a deodorant, it's relaxing, and it's a skin tonic. So spikenard gets its name because the flower blo blossoms grow in a spike pattern. And it has been highly prized since before the birth of Jesus in the Middle East for its perfumery, making incense with it, and also its medicinal value. And 
you're probably if you're familiar with your Bible, you're familiar that spikenard is mentioned in the Bible many places. Documented use goes all the way back to ancient Egypt to the time of the pharaohs and the pyramids. It was used to create um, an aromatherapy blend that they used for their houses and their clothing. So it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, Victoria Edwards has a book on aromatherapy and she says, I'm going to quote her, this oil redresses the skin's physiological balances and causes permanent regeneration. Spikenard can also help with allergies, candida, flatulence and indigestion, insomnia, menstrual difficulties, migraines, nausea, neurological diseases, rashes, staph infections, stress, tachycardia, tension, and wounds that will not heal. Now, let me switch to my other book because it has some other uses. For aging and irritated skin, you're going to apply a drop in your facial cleaner or your moisturizer. For insomnia, stress, and tension, you're going to diffuse it in your diffuser. You can cup it in and breathe it like that. You can also apply it to the bottoms of your feet. For PMS and menstrual issues, you're going to apply it topically and rub it on your abdomen, the back of your neck, and your pulse points. For convulsions, seizures, and muscle spasms, you're going to apply topically to the back of your neck and the affected area if you have a muscle cramping. For its detoxing diuretic benefits, you're going to apply topically to the affected area or to the bottoms of your feet. This is an oil that's great to use to support the terminally ill while they're in hospice. And so you're going to apply to the bottoms of the feet and run it in the diffuser. For ulcers, gas, indigestion, you're going to apply topically to the abdomen. When diluted, you can use it around your eye to treat pink eye. For perfuming, I, I, I must be honest with you, I have a whole, almost a whole bottle of Liz Claiborne perfume on my dresser. It has been years since I have used it because I used to use my essential oils as perfume. So if you like to create your own signature blends, this is great to combine with oils like clove, cypress, frankincense, geranium, juniper berry, myrrh, wild orange, rose. For anxiety, depression, and old emotional blocks. You're going to apply it to your pulse points and diffuse. And it's going to help you emotionally to move from feeling agitated to feeling tranquil. And who doesn't need a little bit of tranquility? It's been rough trying to get back to the old grind this week. So we have been enjoying our spikenard. And I hope you enjoy it too. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.